Hi everyone, this is Elizabeth Willers with Avery Properties and I'm here at my listing and I have a contract on it in less than nine days. So I'm here with a home inspector and I thought it would be interesting to ask some questions and to find out what a home inspection is all about for a buyer. So this guy will introduce himself. Hi. How you doing? Um, my name is Mike Woodard. I'm the owner of Amerispec Home Inspection Service. We've been in business here in Polk County for 20 years. Uh, 21 years actually. Um, gosh, to give you kind of the rundown of what a home inspection is, I mean in, in its most basic uh, terms, it's just to try to present to a buyer of the property anything that is damaged and deficient with the property. So we spend two to three hours, depending on the size of the property, just going through the property completely, looking for anything that's damaged, uh, anything that might need repair, uh, or stuff that has been repaired, just to let the buyer kind of know what they're buying. It's uh, simply to educate them on what they're about to purchase. Awesome, okay, so um, how long does it normally take? So a house this size, this is, what are we talking, 3,000 square foot? Right, or this house. So less this, than, little less than 3,000. Yeah, you know, a two, a two and a half hour inspection is a pretty general uh, ballpark. You know, they get bigger, they do take more time. There's two AC systems here, so it, 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 it kind of increases the time a little bit. But, and then of course a small condo or something, you know, is an hour, but and so you can generally count on about two and a half hours. And how much does it usually cost for a buyer to pay for one? So this inspection here is a $350 inspection on a house this size. Okay. Um, and then once again, it does vary based on the age of the house and the size of the house. Okay, good. And then do you recommend for a seller, someone that's just listing their house, to put um, hire you guys to just check it out, just to be proactive? You know, my answer to that would vary based on what they're trying to accomplish and what in the condition of the house, I would, I would say. Uh, there are instances where you feel pretty confident about your house and you may want to just kind of tidy things up because you're trying to get top dollar for it. Uh, maybe that's as a seller you want to do, but, but if you're already aware that some things are going to pop up on the inspection um, and that you're going to end up negotiating some of that stuff and you're not in a situation where you've got any money to spend on making some repairs, you know, sometimes it's better just left to let the buyer do their thing. Um, not, not only that, is some, sometimes buyers don't, don't have a home inspection. So, um, you know, it's kind of a buyer beware world and, and you know, you're buying them as is. So, uh, just kind of depends. It, okay. we, we do them, but I wouldn't say it's right for every, every occasion. Okay, well, I just want to say thank you so much for taking this time and answering my questions. And I hope to see you again at our next home inspection. Uh, thank you.